Yes, Dad. Susan! Where's your mother? She's gone out. Good. Now, what is this nonsense I'm hearing about you? Nonsense. Me. I don't understand. You don't understand? What don't you understand? So you're still going out with that foolish boy I warned you about. What boy? Look now, don't play any games with me. You know who I'm talking about. But I've stopped talking to him a long time ago. Shut up, you liar. Your friend Mandy told me everything. And it is because of that fool that you're keeping malice with Mandy, isn't it? Mandy. So it's all about Mandy. Now you prefer Mandy. We shall see. Look, Susan, come back here. Come back here. I said come back here. What are you doing with my father? What sort of a question is that? What are you doing with my father? So, after sleeping with my boyfriend, that wasn't enough for you. You also want to sleep with my father, right? I beg you, pardon. Pardon kill you. Backstabber. Gold digger. So, my father is your target now, eh? Look, stay away from my father, else. Susan, have you gone mad? Is something wrong with that medulla oblongata? How can you insinuate this height of evil against me? I, sleeping with the father. Stay away from my father. Stay away from my father, else you will not live to tell the story. You amuse me, Susan. Your cancer liver infested for that who's merely surviving on drugs is who I will be sleeping with. How much money does he even have? Huh? What is the attraction of the man that's almost close to his grave? Anyways... He's not my size or taste, if you don't mind. What size or taste do you have? Eh? Dirty gutter girl like you. Tell me. You know, I'm very, very sure your father will be as tasteless as rotten pedidos. But, you know, I only eat fresh, hoary, steaming tiger pori. Not all dying jelly kangaroo like your father, idiots. Anyway, you can say whatever rubbish you want. But if I ever see you 100 meters close to my father, hell will receive a guest. That is a promise. That quest will kill you, fool! Get out! Idiot, shameless fool! Let me see you here again, idiot. <laughs> Come in. Good afternoon, sir. What is good about the afternoon? You are Bob Manuel? Yes, I am. Uh, can I help you? Help me to do what? Now, let me warn you, young man. Those whom the gods want to destroy, they first make mad. And I can see that your psychopathic neutrogenous level is being propelled faster than your default medulla oblongata can comprehend. I'm sorry, I... <laughs> sorry for yourself. Stay away from my girl. I warn you, life is sweet to only those who deserve it. Sorry, sir. I... Shut up. Now let me warn you for the last time. Only a survivor hears the sound of a bullet. Those who feel it can never live to tell the color of the sound. Choose one. 
I will be back. Bobby, will you come back here? Did you not see me? Oh, so now you open the door for me and just walk out on me, right? What do you people want from me? Eh? What have I done that you want to kill me? What? Kill you? Who wants you dead? And who are the you people that you're talking about? Your father! Your father came here and was threatening fire and brimstone that if I don't stay away from you, uh, that I will see the color of a bullet, I will hear the sound of a bullet, and all of that. Eh? Tell me, is it a crime to fall in love with a girl that I cherish? Is it? So why does your father want to kill me? Why? Is that all? You are a big fool. A big fool! So you think you can just walk into my life and start relishing me like honey cup without any atom of resistance or challenge? Do you know whose daughter I am? Do you know who my father is? Mm -hmm. Who is your father and what is his name? Hmm? Or what is it about you? that my brother is relishing? Is it the constant emotional trauma and heartbreak you put him through because of your waywardness? Is that what he's relishing? Eh? Do you hear the ranting and insult coming from this smelling cockroach? Do you hear her? It will do you good to tell her to, 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 to mind her business. Eh? Or else what? Hmm? You will not be able to control the anger in me. Tell her now! Um, um. <clears throat> Uh, Betty, please, just stay out of this. Let me bear this cross, please. Bobby, what has come over you? What is wrong with you? Look, I'm your sister, I'm your blood, and you know I wouldn't lie to you. This cross you're bearing, it will crush you. And there won't be a tomb to bury you in talk more of resurrection. Please, let this cross pass over you. For good, it is not for you, please. A man has to bear his cross. Oh. <sighs> Bobby, will you come back here? Will you come back here? Dad, what is the meaning of that? What is the meaning of what? Going to Bobby's house to confront and threaten that young innocent boy. Which Bobby? Dad, how many Bobbies do you know? Now will you shut up? Shut your vocal cavity before I clamp it down with a psychopathic slap. Now listen to me. I am not going to repeat myself. Tell that wandering spirit to disappear. To vanish with immediate effect or else. Or else what, this Dad? This town will not be enough for two of us. Nobody messes with my baby girl. Dad, I am your daughter for crying out loud, regardless of what has happened. That is the point. What has happened has happened and the heavens are not falling down. So let every rat, every cockroach stay away from my daughter. My pot pori is not for any infidel. Daddy. Oh, Daddy. 
You see? That's what I'm saying. Come on now, come on now, come on, my baby. Come on. Dearest Dante. Would you get your filthy hands off me? Potpourri indeed. <laughs> Don't try me, oh. Don't try me. I warn you. Warn that bastard to stay away from you. He wants to reap where he did not sow. And I'm ready to eradicate every ninth marauder that ventures into, ventures into my farmland. It's a promise. to sleep now. Did I do wrong by coming to sleep over? Baby, please, ma'am. Please. Please, ma'am. Please what? Are you that hyperactive that you cannot sleep without touching a woman? Susan. What is wrong with you? Susan. You know you I don't have anyone except you. I don't care. Just let me sleep, please. Or, or, or do you want me to leave this house tonight? No, no. Okay, Susan, please. I said no. No, leave me now. Okay, Susan, let me enter inside. I will not move. <sighs> I will think about it in the morning. Just let me sleep, please. I beg you. Okay, uh, you give it to me in the morning. I said I will think about it. Let morning come first now. Okay. I'm coming. Just a minute. Young lady, where are you coming from? I am talking to you and you're walking out on me. I said, where are you coming from? Mom, dad is driving me crazy and I cannot take it. He said you stormed out here yesterday and your phones are off. What happened? Never mind, it's nothing. What do you mean? Will you come back here, my friend? What do you mean, never mind? There is nothing. You said your father is driving you crazy, and I'm asking you, you're telling me, never mind. Talk to me, I'm waiting. Mom, it's okay, I'm fine. I said, I'm waiting. Where have you been, and where are you coming from? Are you deaf? Honey, please, please, let me handle this. Handle what? She's been away all night. Look, I will beat the living daylight out of you if you do not tell me where you have been. Honey, please, if you follow her attitude, you're going to injure her. And that is exactly what is going to happen if she does not speak. Speak! Oh, now I will show you that no, I am the... No, only leave her alone. Leave her alone, you're going to injure her, please. Please leave her alone, you're going to injure her. Please, open this door.
<laughs> How are you doing? Oh, my dear, you know I just got some new stock, so I have to calculate. Okay. Auntie, remember that girl I told you about? My friend now, Gabriella. Okay. okay. She came with me. She's in the living room. Oh. Then... Well, come and see her. Oh. Betty, I can't get up from here. I'm really busy. Just bring her in here now. In your bedroom? Uh-huh. Is she not a woman? Bring ah. her in. Okay. Be right back. <laughs> All right, dear. I'm waiting. Okay. Okay, Auntie. Oh, my dear, you're welcome. How are you? Thank you. Okay, Auntie, this is my friend Gabriella. Gabriella, this is my aunt. How are you? I'm fine, Ma. Nice meeting you. I've heard a lot about you. Really? Good or bad? Hey, Ma, good. Some of your family girl child foundation. I read about you and your philanthropy programs in the paper and also social media all the time. <laughs> to God be the glory. It is He that gives us strength to do the little we've been able to achieve. Hey, Ma, that is not little. Raising money for the education of over 100 less privileged. Hmm. The God will continue to bless you, Ma. <laughs> Amen, O. Oh. oh, Auntie, did I tell you? Gabriela is also a final year medical student at University of Ibado, and she's from a very good home. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, her father is also the Director General at the Federal Ministry of Science and Technology, and her mother is also a medical doctor. <laughs> hmm, interesting. So, you must be a very good girl, and very intelligent too. She's more than intelligent, and a very nice person. In fact, she's the nicest person I've ever met, Auntie, and she is just like her mother. Humble, intelligent, beautiful, everything. Uh, uh -huh. What a CV. <laughs> <laughs> Keep it up. Thanks, ma'am. Humble. <laughs> this is the kind of girl that Bobby should bring into the house. Very nice and humble. Not that white witch of endo. <laughs> See, I've done my own part too, so take it up from here. Well, we have to be very careful. You know Bobby and his ways. I don't think there's anything to worry about. Just do your part and leave the rest to me. Just be careful. <laughs> my darling, pardon my manners. I haven't even offered you anything. Oh, no, 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 Auntie. You don't have to do anything. Just go on with your calculations. I'm sure Gabriella and I will help ourselves at the kitchen. Mm -hmm. You own the house. Go ahead. I'm just her tenant. She owns my house. Uh, She's uh, my landlady. <laughs> she owns my house. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> All right, go on with your calculations, Auntie. Okay, Gabriela. I will. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. I came to see your sister. Oh, my sister. Oh, oh Gabriela. I've seen you've met my handsome brother. <laughs> mm? yeah. His name is Bobby, and he's really nice and handsome, as you can see. <laughs> and he also has a very good heart and a good eye for nice things and nice people. Okay, you're flattering me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Bobby, this is Gabriella, my very good friend and a medical doctor. So, she's a medical doctor? No, I've not finished my husbandship. I'm not yet a certified medical doctor. Oh, oh that's good. Um, can I offer your friend something to drink? Uh, sure, why not? What can I get for you then? I have uh, brandy, corny, red wine, champagne. What would you like? Thanks, but none of the above. Uh, you don't like my face? No, far from it. I don't do alcohol. Oh, you don't do alcohol. That's good. I have just a thing for you. Fruit juice. Bobby, just go and get anything. <laughs> I'll get you fruit juice, okay? I want one too. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'll be right back. I want one too. Mm -hmm. So, what do you think? Think. How? I just introduced you to my brother. What do you think? Babe, take it easy. Nothing, nothing yet. 
Oh. Bingo, Jai. Please, nothing. Gabriela, told me. Nothing. Are you serious? Yeah. Nothing. You are lying. <laughs> <laughs> you are lying, Gabriela. <laughs> Say what you do. Talk, talk, talk. <laughs> Honey, where are you? I'm leaving. Um, you're good to go, darling. Yeah. Um, where is Susan? I have not seen her this morning, but she should be in her room. Uh, is she not coming with me again to get the health documents for your uh, uh, embassy appointment? I'm surprised as well. But let me check her. Let please do, her. please do. Mm. Okay, Let me check problem. her out. Alright. Yeah. Susan. Susan. What is it? Are you okay? What happened? I don't know, Mom. I've been feeling cold since last night. And you didn't bother to call me? What's wrong with her? I think she's having fever. And you kept it to yourself? You didn't think it was necessary to call your mother or me? I just asked her the same question. No problem. Get up. Let me take you to the hospital. No, Dad. I don't want to go to the hospital. I'll be fine. Have you taken any drugs? No, Dad. How can you be... How can you say you're fine? Now, how can you be fine with such temperature? I wonder. Come on, get up. Get up, get up. We just have to take her to the hospital. Of course. Get up, get up. Just get up, please, please, please. Stop, please. Get up, get up. Oh my word. Just look at you. Get up, just try, try, get up. Come, 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 come. Come. She'll be fine, nothing to worry about. Just that we suspect a high level of malaria. But until the result of the test is out, we can't say exactly what the problem is. But it's nothing to worry about, I'm sure. She'll be fine. She's going to be all right. She's, she'll be fine, she'll be fine, okay? Thank you. She'll be fine.
sorry. Um, <clears throat> please, I want to ask you some personal questions. I hope you don't mind. What is it for you? When last did you see your menstrual period? Last month? Yeah, last month, about, about 7th of last month. Are you sure? Yes, doctor. Okay. I don't really to worry about. I, it's just that the, the things that are. <clears throat> there's something that we notice in your test result that does not tally with um, our suspicion. But not to worry. I will recommend some injections for you, okay? You'll be fine, okay? Thank you, doctor. Nurse, please. Let her have. Those drugs, okay? Let's take care of yourself, okay? What are the drugs for? Not to worry, my dear. Injections will make you feel better, okay? Uh, I want to find out. Did your daughter confide anything to you? I mean, like, mother and daughter would. Pertaining her health? No, none that I can think of. No. What is it, doctor? Well, nothing too serious. So why the agitation? <sighs> Madam. Your daughter is pregnant. No. How? For who? No. She, she can't be pregnant. Madam, it, it is not for me to know who is the father of your daughter's baby. A paternity of a child is only determined after the child is born, especially when the pregnancy is in contest. In this case, I think your daughter should be able to tell us who is the father of the baby. Sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, doctor. That's not what I mean. I mean, how can she be pregnant? I mean, how can my daughter be pregnant? It's, it's, it's not possible. Well, that is the result of the pregnancy test. My God. My God. Oh my God. How can my baby be pregnant, doctor? I'm asking you who is responsible for that pregnancy. Sweetheart, please calm down. I'm you who is responsible before I break your skull open. Calm down, darling. Calm down. Please, don't be too aggressive so we can gradually get to the roots of this matter. Don't tell me to calm down. Don't tell me that. After we've gone through to train and bring you up as a responsible young girl, all you want to do is to clothe me with a sack of shame. Is that what you want to do? Listen, listen. You see, we, 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 what can we do? The deed is done already. You know, these children of nowadays, they don't consider their parents when they want to take decisions. Now, they, that, that, is that not why I keep shouting in this, in this house and you keep telling me to take it easy? Mm. Not my own daughter. Uh -huh. You will tell me who is responsible for that thing you are carrying. Because he should be ready to shoulder his responsibility. Obviously, you know you can't have the baby here. That is non-negotiable. Who is he? I'm asking you for the last time, who is he? His, his name is Bob Manuel. Who, who, what useless boyfriend? Eh? What nonsense boyfriend? How can you get pregnant for, 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 for him? Who is that useless boyfriend that God will punish right now? Do you know him? 
No, 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 but well, I don't know the idiot, but you heard I say he, he's a mad boy. This is your so-called boyfriend. Doesn't he have a face, a name? Who is he? His, his name is Bob Manuel. You are mad. How can you let him impregnate you? I mean, how do you get impregnated by a madman? Are you a big fool? Are you a bloody fool? This is Bob Manuel, where does he live? Huh. I mean, where does he stay? Where does he live? He, he lives. He lives. Wait, shut up! If I hear you mention that name again, I will slap the demon out of you. How can you get pregnant for a nobody? Who is he? Who is his father? What does he do for a living? Look, you better think of something else to say before I dis... Susan. You're pregnant. Oh. get Susan something to drink. She looks flushed. What? Well, if she's flushed, she knows where, where to get a drink. Uh, Susan, please ignore her. Ignore her. You know you both don't get along. What can I offer you? I am not hungry. I came here so we can talk about something very important. <laughs> I hope it's not anything too serious. <laughs> I cannot find my period. I don't understand. I haven't seen my period. Uh, where did you keep it and for how long has it been missing? Don't play games with me, Bob Manuel. This is no joke. I'm very serious. What is this period you talk of? What is the color? What is the shape? Did you leave it here? I am pregnant. Hey! Pregnant! Uh, baby, why would you do this to me? Pregnant for who? When? How? I am telling you that I am pregnant and you're asking me for who, why, when, how? You're a liar! Uh, not in this house. It will not work. You, you have failed. Shabby, I told you you'll definitely come crashing from that evil lofty height of yours. It has happened. I want you to take yourself and that bastard you're carrying and leave this house. My brother is not responsible, you prostitute. What? Mm. What insolence, Bobby, are you sitting there watching your sister insult me again? You're a fool. You are a fool. So this compound, wait, this place looks like a dumping ground for bastards, Abby. If that is your plan, you have failed and woefully too. Are you talking to yes, me? Yes, I am talking to you, Susan, you're because this is my house. And there is nothing you can do. Are you really not working? You are this stupid stupid hey, stupid you stupid 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 Shut stupid. up! Shut up! And let me think. Shut up! I'll get you. Are you pacing up and down? When did you find out that you were pregnant? Three days ago. Uh, how old is the pregnancy? I said, How old? About two months. Two months. Two months. Uh, 
Susan, in the last three months, we've made love twice. The last time was about a week ago. The first time was about three months ago. So how then are you two months pregnant for me? I don't know. It might be within the period you're, to, you're talking about. Pregnancy doesn't manifest immediately. Okay. But when it eventually manifests, doesn't it prove the time when it occurred? Bobby, what are you insinuating? Just answer the question! Okay, yes! Then, I'm not responsible. You must be joking. Do not play games with me. You will not find it funny if you mess with me. Get out of my house. Get out of my house now! Yes! What? Get out. Hmm? You go jumping from bed to bed feeling smart and wise. And now that you've hit rock bottom, you've come calling for my brother. You are award winning national mogul. Abi, you have run out of luck. And like the Titanic, you have hit the rock and you are going down, Susan. Hmm? So just leave before the devil comes calling for your corpse. Bobby. Bobby, Bobby it's me. Oh. It's me. Susan. Bobby, a few days ago, you came begging me on your knees. And today you're behaving like King Kong. <laughs> Bobby, God will judge you. God will judge you. After all the love that I have showed you, you decide to treat me this way. <laughs> you and this your evil sister. I don't care. He already said get out. You and your love, please leave. I will find this my temper. <laughs> Betty, take out this house. Betty, get out of this house. <laughs> my friend can't lock my door. <laughs> Susan, how dare you attempt to take my child and give it to that useless and idiotic boyfriend of yours? How dare you? Dad, don't just start. I've had enough for one day. I mean, how do I start explaining to people that I am pregnant not just for any man, but for a man that I call father? Can't you think? Think what? Now listen, don't play tricks on me. You and I know that I am not your father. That child is mine. Dad! Pinch. Okay. You are not my father, but it's only you and I that know that. Every other person sees us as father and daughter. The whole world can go and drown in a lagoon for all I care. From now on, you are my woman and that child is my son. I will not stand by and watch you give that child to another man, especially when that child is a boy. Get that into your non skull. I do not know what you are talking about. I do not know you and I have had nothing to do with you. Get that into your own skull. Susan! 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 What's, I mean, what's going on here? What's this noise all about? Is that your father you're raising your voice at? Your father is talking to you and you're walking away? Mom, what do you people want me to do? I have cried, pleaded, begged and explained to dad that Bobby is responsible for my pregnancy. But he wouldn't listen. He wouldn't hear it. You are a disgrace. I accept that I have made mistakes. But will I die because of one singular mistake? Am I the first person to get pregnant out of wedlock? Shut up! Shut your mouth! Please shut up! You know what? You're going to get ready. You're taking me to that boy. Whoever he is, I want to see him face to face. Get up on my side! Madam, 
I am not responsible for this pregnancy and that's a fact. My son, listen, let me tell you something. It's only a woman that can tell the father of her child. Susan here says you're responsible for her pregnancy. And you've not denied the fact that both of you are having an affair. So what other proof does anyone need? Um, I'm not denying that fact. But considering the circumstances surrounding this said pregnancy, I believe you should look somewhere else. Elsewhere? Where else do you expect me to look? In the lagoon? Please, my son. What circumstances are you talking about? Uh, Madam, a little over three months ago was the last time your daughter and I... Uh, uh, and ever since then, Susan has made it practically impossible for me to see where she urinates. Talk less of the color of her pants. Not until a week ago. So please tell me, how do I solve the puzzle that she's two months pregnant for me? Who told you it's two months pregnant? She did! Did you tell him that? Yes, I did. Okay. Have you seen the result? No, Mom. So why did you tell him it's two months? You see your life. You see your life. You have not seen the result. And you told him it's two months. My dear, the doctor said it's three months. I can show you the test. I'll give you the name of the doctor and the name of the hospital. So you can go there and find out things yourself. Both of you can even go for independent tests. So you'll be sure of what you're saying. Madam, I am not interested in that one. I have categorically said it here that I am not responsible for this pregnancy. And that is right now. I don't care if she's one year pregnant or ten years pregnant. That is for your family to sort out. Excuse me? Yes! That is for your family to sort out. And if you don't mind, I would like to be excused. Bobby, are you sending my mother and I out of your house? Susan, I spoke English, and I'm sure you understand that very well. So please. I don't blame you. I don't blame you one bit. I don't blame you. It's not your fault. It's you that I blame. You that chip in yourself. Cheap products. Cobble, cobble. If not for you, why will I receive this kind of insult from this thing? It's not your fault. Let's go. It's not your fault, my dear. I just don't blame you one bit. I don't blame you. Rubbish. I warned you. I told you that boy was an irresponsible boy, but you didn't believe me. Now you are going there to disgrace yourself by forcing a pregnancy on an irresponsible idiot. Irresponsible lout. Irresponsible tout. Do not I don't understand your feels about this whole thing. If this boy is not responsible for her pregnancy, then who? Is there anything both of you know that I don't know? Then don't be silly. What is there that both of us know that you don't know? If there's anything to be known, is it not going to be between you and your useless daughter? Anyway, my stand is unshakable. I will not accept an irresponsible gold digger as a son-in-law. And that's final. The boy in question has not even accepted the pregnancy. And the boy that I saw does not look to me like a gold digger. If you care to know... I don't care. All I know is that I will not accept that boy here and he will not lay claim to that pregnancy. And as for Susan, she had better start thinking what is good for her because she will not have that baby here in this house. So where is she going to have the baby? When you have refused to accept the man she, she, she named the father of her child, where do you want her to go and have the baby? Anywhere! I don't care! Or maybe, maybe I'll call my sister in England and send her there. But she's not going to have that baby in this house. She's not going to bring disgrace to me in this town where everybody holds me in high esteem. She will have to leave this town with that pregnancy immediately. You lie. You lie. 
she will have that baby here. Since you have refused to accept Bob Manuel as the father of the child, my daughter will not go to live without your wicked sister in England. She's not going anywhere. <laughs> hey, hey, Elizabeth, are you now challenging my authority in this house? Donatus, I don't care. Read my lips. She's not going anywhere. She will have that baby in this house. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> okay. What? Yes. What do you want? Why are you here? How may I help you? What are you even doing in my house? Can I come in? For what? Are you sure you know where you are? Or do you want to come in and insult me again? Now get out! Mandy, please, I have come to ask you to forgive me. Forgive me for everything I've done and said to you. I, I don't know what came over me. I'm sure it's the devil. Please, I beg you, forgive me. Please, I beg you, leave my house. I beg you, in the name of God, ask the devil to push you far away from here before you provoke the spirit of God in me. Now get out! Out! Mandy. Mandy, you are my best friend. Remember the good times we had together? Mandy, please find it in your heart to forgive me. I don't know what came over me. Mandy, I beg you in the name of God, please. What do you want? Mandy, my life is falling apart. I, I do not have anyone to talk to. Mandy, you are the only friend I have in the whole wide world. It's only you. I beg you, please, in the name of God, forgive me. Please, can I sit? Fine. Me get up. So, after that, what happened? After I discovered I was pregnant, I went to Bobby's house, and you will not believe what he did to my mother and I. What? Mandy, that fool that used to lick my foot, he threw my mother and I out of his house and denied ever having anything to do with me. You can't see. There is no amount of insult on the face of this earth that I didn't receive from Bobby and his sister Betty. No, it's 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 a lie. I I can't, I can't even believe this. My sister, it'd be it'd be like fame to me, oh. Bobby that used to worship and adore me. Can you remember the way he used to beg for sex as if his life depended on it? And and now he's denying you. Men, 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 they're just wicked, irresponsible, and self centered creatures. My goodness, forbid. Bobby humiliated and embarrassed me. I just wished that the ground could just open and swallow me up. So, how do you intend to go about it? That is not my major problem as it is. What is it again? My father. A father. How about him? Is he... Is he planning to throw you out of the house? Mandy, you are my childhood friend. Uh -huh. 
I want to trust you to keep a secret like you have always done. Yeah, sure. Sure. Yeah, you know, we've come a long way. Whatever is between us, it's sealed. Susie, what is it? Trust me. My father says the baby is his. And he has sworn never to let Bobby or anyone lay hold on the baby and me. How? I... I mean, why? Susan, it's, 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 it's not worth, I'm, I'm thinking, is it? It is. What? Susan, are, are you mad? Are you crazy? What are you, what are you even thinking? What have you done? Oh, oh, oh my God. This is, this is. I don't know what came over me. The devil has torn my life into shreds. Evil has overwhelmed my whole being. No, no! This is an abomination! No! It's 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 unbelievable. How 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 do you even explain this to the world? Wow, wow. Oh, I don't do, know. Do, 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 does the mother know about this? No. How do you intend to handle it? Right now, I am just blank. Nothing is coming up right in my head. How can your head not be blank? How oh, can this is this is not even done? This is not done. So that is not even done. This is not done. This is this is, this is madness. This is this 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 is pure case of lunatism, Susan. You finished. I. You are finished. Uh, I wish I could just wake up from this dream. <laughs> 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 Let me tell you, this is madness. It's no dream. It is no dream. God. Look what we have here. Mandy, how are you? I'm fine, ma. Good afternoon, ma. So you choose to visit us today. Please sit down, my dear. Thank you, ma. You're welcome. <laughs> what do I offer you? I'm okay, ma. I'm fine. Are you sure? Yes, ma. Thank you. Uh, please, ma. Is Susan at home? No, she has gone out with her father. Her father again? What's wrong with that? What do you mean, her father again? Um, well, no, not, nothing is wrong. Just that it's not fair. What is not fair? Please, ma, I don't want to bother you. I insist. I want to hear it. What is not fair? Um, don't keep me waiting. <laughs> my, it's not my business, but I don't like what your husband is doing to you. What my husband is doing to me? How? Um, um, Talk to me. How, 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 how can he be sleeping with his own daughter? It, it, it's not nice. It's bad. It's... it's What did you just say? Uh, my, my, it's the truth. See, everybody knows. What no is the truth? It's no more a secret, ma. Every, everybody knows. You know what, young lady? Get up and get out of my house this minute.
Um, ma, are you, are you, are you, are you, are you referring to? I said get out! I said get out! Now get out! Ma, ma, I was only trying to help because, because you insisted. May you perish with your help, you demon of mass destruction! Get out! Get out of my house! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out this minute! Get out! Get out! Get out! And shut the door behind you! What nonsense! May the Lord, may God destroy you before you destroy my home. What rubbish! Oh my word! This is how they go about peddling rumors! My God! Oh my word! What a word! Sleeping. What's the problem? Why are you not sleeping? I'm okay. But you are not sleeping. And it's, it's past two a.m. Why are you not sleeping? I'm thinking. About what? You and Susan went out this afternoon. Yes. Where did both of you go to? To my office, of course. Oh, we were leaving, I told you, didn't I? What did you go to do there? Well, um, well what's all this questioning for? Can't the father and the daughter go out again? What's the scrutiny all about? I'm sorry. That's not what I mean. What did she tell you? Nothing. I hope you haven't told your mother anything. How? Look, I don't like the kind of questions she was asking me last night. I smell a rat. What rat? Come on, don't be silly. You better keep your mouth shut. I warn you. I don't understand what you're talking you about. Just shut up and listen. Please don't shout at me this morning. If I shout at you, what will happen? Eh? Look, just get yourself ready. I am taking you out of this country to England this weekend. I am not going to England. Come and bundle me now. What did you say? You heard me. Look, don't try my patience, oh. Come and bundle me to England now. Is it by force? I am not going anywhere. Susan, 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 come on. Susan! Susan! Okay. We will see who is who in this house. Look at this girl. Please, mother, forgive him. You know that he's a small boy. Please forgive him. Please, ma'am. Find a place in your heart to forgive me. I have acted foolishly and unreasonable. Please, I beg you in the name of God Almighty to please find a place in your heart to forgive and forget my sins. Please, ma, I've come to realize that the child is truly mine. Exactly. The child is mine. Yes. Oh, God. Well, young man, it's not in my hands to forgive sin. It's only God Almighty who forgives our trespasses. You said the child is not yours. And you drew us out of your house. Why the sudden change of heart? And if I may ask, how then did you find out that the baby is now yours? Madam, you know how these things happen? Yes. 
Bobby here is a young man, and they don't think before they act. They, they only think when the deed has been done. Yes. Please accept our plea. Yes, we are now ready to perform the necessary rights required by custom and law as your good in laws. Well, as you can see, I'm just a woman. I'm not the father of the girl in question. I only advise you to go and come back on a later date. Oh, he's back. Welcome, darling. Good evening, Welcome, sir. Daddy. Welcome, Daddy. Who are these people? This is Bob Manuel, the young man responsible for Susan's pregnancy, and these are his relatives. Pregnancy? What pregnancy? Uh, sorry, sir. I said what pregnancy? Uh, sorry, sir. I have, uh, we have come to perform the necessary rights and yes. claim your daughter. You are mad. Claim what? You want to come and claim what does not belong to you? Were well, you not the one who drove them away saying that you are not responsible for the pregnancy? Why are you here now to claim what is not yours? Sorry, sir. It is the foolishness of a young man. We are so, so sorry for his foolish behavior. Yes. That is very correct. A foolish young man. And it is only foolish people who go about claiming what is not theirs. I will never give what is mine to a foolish man. My daughter will never marry any foolish man. Now, please, I want you to take your foolish man out of my house. Now. Honey. Now. Please, sir. Uh, what's so <sighs> weird? Darling, darling, please, please. I think we can settle this thing amicably. Settle what amicably? Oh, were you were they not the ones who drove you out of the uh, uh, of their house, claiming that they, not, he's not responsible? And and so you want me to leave somebody that his own relatives have called, described as a foolish person? I know, but you, just... you don't know anything. Now, before I come free, I want you all out of my house. Daddy, I don't like what Will you I shut said. up? Shut up, you big fool! Now get inside. One, sir, please, two, please, sir, please, what's three. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, Thank you. I'm sorry. Let's go. Where are they? Honey, where is all this? I don't get you. I don't understand you. I mean, why all these hyperactive reactions? Why? Are you going to marry your daughter? You can say whatever you like. That idiot, that foolish man will never be accepted in this house. Take it from me. your life a dog returning to his vomit can you now bring yourself to the realization of the shame and disgrace you have dragged this noble family into with your classic high street girl do you see what you've done to yourself auntie i'm sorry but but I what bobby that you want to lay a claim to the paternity of a child that you have not even fathered? The baby is mine. How? How do you know? When was the last time you saw her lapse? Would you stay out of this? Stay out of what? Your foolishness? Your demented and defocused mental censor? Is that what you want us to stay out of? Auntie, I'm a man. I've made some mistakes. But my mind is telling me that this baby is mine. The baby is mine. Your mind is rotten. Bobby, your mind is rotten. Where was your mind when she treated you like a piece of trash and even denied you access to her? Where was your mind when her father threw you and her uncles out of the house with a matchet? You need to reboot that mind. Auntie, tell her to stay out of my business. Stay out of my business, else! Else what? Eh? You go outside and they treat you like a piece of trash, but you come here and flex muscles for me. Listen to me, Bob Manlo. 
how you live your life is everybody's business. You are not a lone pillar. We are a tree. And each branch is affected by what happens to the other. That is why we are all together with you in this show of shame. You disappoint us. Uh, Auntie, I'm sorry. But my mind is telling me that this baby is mine. This is the first fruit of my loins. I'm not letting it go. No, no, brother, wake up. Wake up and face reality. Don't act stupid. You're not cursed. I'm warning you. I am warning you. But Manu, at this point, if anybody needs to be warned, it is you. Go and clean yourself up. You are beginning to stink. This is not our family style. Susan, please tell me the truth. What's going on in this house? Mom, I don't understand. Why is your father reacting this way to you and Bob? Mom, I don't know. You know how dad behaves when he doesn't like someone. You think so? Maybe. Maybe there is something else, but... Susan, please, I will do anything you want. Just don't give this baby to another man. See, I'm capable of satisfying all your needs. Whatever you want, just name it. I will provide it. Eh, please, please, especially now that the doctor has said that uh, the, the child is a boy. And you know what the doctor said about your mother not being able to have another child after the last one because, of, uh, because she had it by CS? Eh? Please, Susan, please. But then how do I face the world when they discover that I've not only been sleeping with a man they know as my father, but I'm also carrying his child? It, it, who will tell them if you do not? This is our secret and it will die with us. So who do I tell my child that is his father when he grows up? I am the father, of course. But don't let that worry you now. We will deal with that at the appropriate time. Huh? Please do this for us. Relocate from this country to England. It will be well with you and the child, I promise. 
I'm not going to England though. I am not going. And Rebecca is very wicked. She is very wicked. I'm not going to stay with her. I don't want to get frustrated though. No, I'm not going. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I, I will arrange for you to go to America. You, you, I have a friend who is uh, an associate professor in Las Vegas and his wife is a nurse. Uh, you will stay with them on a, on, until I'm able to arrange accommodation for you. Is that okay? Okay, I will. Oh, good, 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 good. Thank you, my darling. Thank you. Thank you. Mama, thank you. I beg you, my wife, Elizabeth. I will buy you a new car. Don't, yeah, don't be angry. I will buy you a new car. I will, I will pay money into your account. I will, I will open a new supermarket for you, please. Don't perish! Perish! This is an abomination. <laughs> Why have they allowed the devil to clothe them with the gamut of shame and destruction? Uncle, I don't know. I don't know what I have done wrong, Uncle. I don't know. I don't know. Why would the gods visit me with this great calamity? Why would they visit my entire household with this great calamity? Why? Uncle, why? Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth. <laughs> Elizabeth. Don't worry. Wipe your tears. We will handle it. The girls are not crazy. We will find a solution. <laughs> <laughs> we have come from the village as emissaries. What you have done is an abomination and a great evil against yourself and your entire family. This is a sacrilege. Sleeping with a girl that calls you father, your own daughter. Were you so drunk with the devil's liquor? She is not my daughter, and she knows it. What do you mean she's not your daughter? Am I her biological father? Did I give birth to her?
Donatus! Donatus! Have you deteriorated to this level of moral dickedness? What has come over you? You're talking like a god No, 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 look, mind your language. I will not be insulted in my own house. Please be warned. She's not my biological daughter, and that is the truth. And you, mind your language, mind what you say. I warn you. Eliza, are you trying to tell us that your husband is not the biological father of your daughter? She knows what I'm talking about. Elders of our land, what is the biological difference of a man who bears a child and dies before the child is one year? Leaving her to a man who fathers the child until she's 25 years above. Who then is the biological father? Who then does she know? Is it the father she did not see? Or the father she knows and has lived with all her life? Who then is the biological father? Please tell me. Hold on. Please tell me, elders of our land. Hold on. Let me get the picture clear of what you are saying. Are you now saying Suzanne is not your child? <sighs> elders of our land. 25 years ago. Hey, Juliana! Juliana! Hey! Juliana! Juliana! Hey, Juba! What about her? They don't know! They can't see them with her husband! Man! Where? strong at least for the sake of your sister see this child on your lap now is your responsibility and you have to prove to her that you can be a good mother to her remember you are all she has in this whole wide world now but why why would God allow this to be us? God why why nobody questions God <laughs> He gave out and he take it away. He knows why he allowed this to happen. He has laid the responsibility of a motherhood on your lap. And that you can never be paid. Listen, listen. I've told you several times, stop this crying. It's okay. You know, it breaks my heart to see you this way. Now listen to me. You see this baby here? We are going to train her together as our own child. Alright? And I pray that God is going to help us. Okay. Amen. It's welcome. It's okay. I love you. Just look at her. <laughs> She's as beautiful as you. It's <laughs> okay, baby. And this same man turns around, sleep and impregnant, a little girl who calls him father. Tell me, my elders, is that justified? Is it? That is a taboo. What you have done is abominable. You have desecrated the land. And you have attracted the wrath of God in heaven and the gods of our land upon your family. You will cleanse this land with a great sacrifice. 
of the blood of a cow and a tortoise. That's for the land. For the gods. You and her, I mean Suzanne, will dance naked from the village square to the marketplace or else. What? Dance naked? Me? It's not possible. Shut up your mouth, shameless peacock. When you open your legs for your father, don't you think of the consequences? All right, my head, that's all right. Um, I, I, I agree to the sacrifice of the cows or whatever else you call it. Uh, uh, I'll pay, but this thing about dance naked, can you not be forgotten or, or I pay ransom for it? Huh? There is no alternative to it. You must dance naked. I will that is the will of the gods. I will pay one million naira to appease the gods. One million. You think we are hungry? We don't need your cost money. All we need is you should dance naked according to our customs. Or do you want the whole village to suffer the consequences of your wicked act? Go and tell your gods that I will not dance naked. I, Chief Donatus Banigo, will not dance naked. You will do it. Else you will be estranged from amongst us. And the gods or the people of the land shall have nothing to do with you nor visit you and your family. Your feet or your foot shall not step on this land. And the God's anger will be against you and your family. Even after death, your corpse will not be allowed to come home for burial. I will not dance naked. Go and tell your gods that I said so. I'm warning you. <laughs> come and dance naked. Over my dead body. Over my dead body. Over my dead body. Yes. Okay. Yes. So be it. Yes. And that's, let's go. Get out of my house. Go. Get away. Go. Monty Khan and dance naked. Jokers. Nonsense. Donatus. 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 Look, I will slap the nonsense out of your head, eh? If I hear my name from that, you're dead him out again. You have done your worst now eh? and, and you are very satisfied. Anyway, just get ready to start leaving my house any moment from now. Yes, I will leave. But not until you allow the father of that child to come and claim his child. That pregnancy does not belong to you. <laughs> you, are, you are an akpa. Mumu, a big fool. <laughs> uh, I am the bona fide father of that child. You yourself had a little of it that night you sneaked in on us. <laughs> you are the bigger fool. You are the akpa. A fat fool. That's what you are. You want to reap where you did not sow. Let me tell you, you cannot father a child. <laughs> what did you say? Oh yes, you had me loud and clear. You had me. <laughs> oh, I see that your frustration has eaten deep into your medulla oblongata. <laughs> You think it's a laughing matter? <laughs> Go and confirm from your doctor. You are not a man. Mm. Donatus, you are not a man. Uh -huh. <laughs> you see? Well, anyway, mm, those are mere rantings. The rantings of a copist. You and your elders have failed. Ooh, you have failed. You cannot get me. <laughs> for as far as I'm concerned, you, your elders, your gods can all go and jump in the lagoon naked, not me. <laughs> Rubbish. <laughs> <laughs> ah! 
See, don't take them too seriously, okay? We are leaving this country by, the, by, by next weekend. I'll go with you and make sure you're comfortable before I come back here. I don't want to travel anymore. I want to stay here and have my baby. No, I cannot allow you to have my son in this country. I don't want to take chances with those native cultists. This baby is not yours. What did you say? Mom said you cannot father a child. And the only other person I know is Bobby. Have you gone mentally deranged like your mother? Now, don't you ever in your life open your rotten mouth to say such rubbish to me, okay? But it's not me. That's what mom said and she was not joking. You are mad. Ruby and Ibiere, are you their father? Well, I still think we should go to the hospital and clear this issue. I don't want people contesting the paternity of my baby when tomorrow comes. So, you are doubting the potency of my manhood. Well, so be it. We shall go to the doctor, or even doctors to prove to you, your mother, and our cohort that nobody can blackmail me into forfeiting what rightfully belongs to me. Not even the native courtists from the village. Uh, <clears throat> Chief, I have here your cementus results. But um, before we go further, I would ask that your daughter will oblige us um, a little privacy. No, no, doctor, that won't be necessary. As a matter of fact, I'd like her to have the privilege of hearing the findings. Um, Chief, I don't know if you understand uh, the tenets of a doctor-patient relationship. In things like this, it is better treated privately. Yes, Doctor, I do understand your desire to treat this privately as the uh, tenets of your professional demands. But, um, like I said, I insist that my daughter is here and be privy to this reading. Why not your wife? Doctor, I am losing my patience. Please go ahead and read the results. Well, if you insist. I insist and I stand on my words. Well, <clears throat> like I said, if you look at the column um, of the spermatozoa, you can see that it reads 0%. And that is to say that you have been sterile for a very long time. Are you saying he's not the father of my... Are you saying he cannot father a child? I have not said that. Oh, <laughs> because I should have said that. I have not finished, Chief. What I am saying is that from this result here, it is impossible for you to biologically father a child. What's the meaning of that? I mean, what is the meaning of this nonsense? Huh? I mean... Oh... They have co-opted you into their evil circle of black blood, so... Have they not? Excuse me, Chief. I don't get your drift. I don't get your drift! As a matter of fact, you are drifting too dangerously for me to condone. And I want you to stop! How long has this state of impotency lasted? Well, from this result here, wonder if Chief has been potent in the past 35 years. He's mad. This is a conspiracy. If I have been important, how was I able to father two girls? Two able-bodied girls that came into this world on the strength of my loins. 
Are you sure you did, sir? Doctor, don't provoke me, oh! Don't provoke me! Are you trying to tell me that you are the father of my children? I'm sorry, sir. Sorry for yourself. Nonsense. Very stupid. Come again, let's get out of this place. Look here. When I've proven my potency, I will come back here and deal with you ruthlessly. Bet me. Fool. Tyler, let's, let's get out of this nonsense, please. Rubbish. Boom. Yes, sir. Sir. Yes, stop. stop. This is for you. You have gone to gang up with the doctors, haven't you? But I promise you, it will not work. You have failed completely. <laughs> you are a shameless man. Your calamity is catching up with you. It wasn't enough that you sleep with your daughter. You want to claim a child that does not belong to you. Your shame has not started. It will clothe you like a filthy garment. <laughs> She is not my daughter, and you know it. You know it. <laughs> you are just jealous because another woman is carrying my baby. <laughs> Let me tell you, I am an African man, and I can marry as many women as I wish. Get that into your skull. <laughs> You called a child that calls you father another woman? I pity you. I pity you, Donatus. Is it not clear to you that you are a victim of the gods? He whom the gods want to destroy, they first make mad. You are the victim of the gods. You are going to be the first to go mad in this house. I promise you. I pity you. I pity you. Result of your test indicates you have a very low spend count whose potency have been destroyed extensively, sir. Meaning? Uh, meaning you couldn't have fathered those children, sir. <laughs> you are a liar, huh? You are lying. No, sir. So they have gotten to you too, huh? I, I don't understand. Uh, they have gotten to you. I don't understand. But look, I will overcome all of you in Jesus' name. I will overcome your gang up. Calm, calm. Yo, yo, you think you can get at me? Eh? You will never get at me. I will overcome you all. Down, all of you, you will know me. Down, you are idiots. You are, you, are, you are a terrible set of dudes. And I will overcome you. You will never get at me. Idiots. Bastard. Bastard. Rubbish. Idiots. I said. 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 Sir, from all indications medically, you can't have or father a child. Oh. oh! Oh, 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 oh! God! God, what is this? Who is doing this to me? Who? Uh, are you okay, sir? Okay. Okay. You are asking me if I'm okay when you all have ganged up against me don't deprive me of what rightfully belongs to me to ruin my life sir i don't understand i'm just trying to explain what is what all of you should get out all of you should get out of my life get out of my life everybody get out of my life sir sir hmm.
What again? Just leave me alone. You are not the father of my child. And it is proven that you are not man enough to father a child. So just stay away from me. Suzanne, me get off your back. I am not a leech, Abby. Whatever. I do not care. Just stay away from me. Pretend like nothing ever happened between us. Susie. You say that to me, Susie. Me, Susie. Can you Susie. stop Susie me? Stay away from my baby and I. Simple. <laughs> Stay away from you, Susie. Did you hear that? Me, Donatus. Stay away from you. Eh, huh, Susie? Okay. Dr. Pisaside. Chief. You have been my family doctor for over 20 years. Yes. How come I'm just knowing of my condition now? Chief, your health condition has always been the same. Since after that ghastly motor accident, when you were coming back from your honeymoon several years ago. What? Yes. But you said I was okay after the surgery. Yes, health-wise. But, you see, during the abdominal hemorrhage surgery, we discovered that your urinary valve was somehow severely damaged. And that was the cause. Meaning? Your scrotum. I mean, the building box could not produce enough fluid, I mean spermatozoa, to help you procreate. Now, how come you didn't tell me this then? You see, Chief, <clears throat> you remember very well that after the surgery, that your health was not very stable for a very long time. And you were going through some emotional trauma. So your wife and your sibling advised, in fact, they insisted that you must not be told about this condition because it will further deteriorate your emotional condition and um, they were believing you know you, you people are very religious according to your religious faith 
that you will get um, divine intervention along the line. So, you people kept my secret away from me. Fine, no problem. Okay. But how come Elizabeth was getting pregnant and you, you were delivering the babies? You see, Chief, several years after, when your religious faith could not produce the expected results, your wife came under intense pressure. In fact, she said she was not ready to lose her husband. So when she came to me, I advised that you people go for adoption, that you adopt a baby. But she said you will not hear of it, that you refuse in total. So you started sleeping with my wife in order to make her pregnant so that she, so that she will remain in my house. Excuse me, Chief. Please, can you apologize to me and withdraw that intensive and heinous accusation? Who is the father of my children? Look, ask your wife. I don't know. I'm not involved. You are not involved. Who then is involved? You seem to know so much about this whole drama. Who is the father of my children? No, get your hands off me. The last. You are so blessed! Yeah. What's, what's wrong with you? Yeah. What is wrong with you? Madman! Can you imagine? God! Ah. Ah. What nonsense! Elizabeth! 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 Look at this devil reading the Bible! Stop that nonsense! Please stop the Bible! Who is the father of those children? Tell me who is the father of those children! Oh, leave me alone! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! You're haunting me! You're haunting me! You're haunting me! You're haunting me. You're haunting me. You're haunting me. Now speak! Tell me who the father of those children are! If I squeeze you to death, who is the father of those children? You're hurting me! You're hurting me! You're hurting me! Somebody help me! You know Somebody what? help me! You're you hurting to me! You don't want to tell me the father of those bastards! You're okay? hurting me! Alright! You must wait! You will talk by force! your neck open. Please, wait, I will talk, I will talk, I will talk, please. I did it for you. I did it to cover your shame. No, I'm ashamed. I don't want people to know your impotence. I don't want Liar. to Liar! Liar! Ah. You did it for yourself and your wicked soul. Ah. Now speak before I split your skull open. Ah. Speak! Ah. I will, I will. I'm trying to save you from the trauma and the embarrassment we are going through. Speak! I will, I will speak, I will speak. Uh, the, the pastor, the pastor did it. That time I went for three days prayer. Liar. I'm not lying to you. The pastor said, the pastor said, the spirit said he should deposit something inside me. Liar. Which pastor? Uh -huh. Reverend Olushagu can never do such a thing. Now speak. Uh -huh. I'm getting impatient. I will break your skull. Speak. Uh -huh. Deposit uh -huh. what? He said the spirit said he should deposit his semen inside me. That the semen will heal my womb. That's what he said, the spirit said. I'm not lying. I'm not lying. Uh, and you uh, did. No, 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 no. Uh, uh, ah, yes, 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 yes. I'm sick of the mountain cinema. Who shall ever kill a person with your again? Who shall ever kill a person with your again? Who shall ever kill a person with your again? Oh, yes, Jesus. Yes. Oh. Sister Elizabeth. Yes, Pastor. Mm. God has done it. Amen. God has answered your prayer. Amen. The Spirit just ministered to me now. And I speak to you as the Spirit giveth me utterance. Speak on, Pastor. Speak on. Hashu! I don't want to know. Thank you so much, Enid. Hashu! 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 H
What's the number to Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Hmm. Yes. Oh. Yes. The spirit said, I should deposit something inside you. Something that he has put inside me. And you will be overwhelmed with the spirit. As the grace fell on Virgin Mary. And she was overwhelmed. And you will produce your own child. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Lord. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Have sick of my girl she never took him up when he shot him over there with happiness cut her. What's the Oh, yes. Hmm. 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 Yes. Yes. Hmm. Yes. Oh. The spirit said, I should deposit my semen inside you. And by this time next year, you will carry your own baby. In your own hands. Mm. Mm. Pastor. Mm. The spirit said that. Yes. Yes. Mm. To obey is better than sacrifice. Mm. Disobedience is worse than the sin of witchcraft. Sister Elizabeth, will you obey? Or you will disobey the spirit. I will obey. I will obey the spirit. Yes, Pastor, I will obey the spirit. Good. Good. Oh, shake up at you, Yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. <laughs> now. Mm. Begin. Begin to remove your clothes. Yes. Begin to remove your clothes. Yes. Yes. Begin. Begin. Mm. Mm. Oh, oh. So you opened your legs wide open for Reverend Olusha Good to penetrate into my territory. You have stripped me bare before the whole world. You have humiliated me before God and man. What else is there to cover up? Oh God, I'm finished. Donatus, you don't die. What is happening to me? Donatus, Donatus, wake up! You don't die! Die! Sorry, please, honey. My dear husband, what I did, I did for you. I did for us. I wanted to cover your shame. No, I was shame, please. I wanted to cover You are mad. Shame, please. What, what else is there to cover? What else is there to cover? Oh God, oh God, Adonatus, you're finished. What am I living for? This is sacrilege. Sacrilege, abomination. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh God, abomination. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. You. I'm sorry. God, what are you doing? You. Stop. You. 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 Wait for me. Wait. All right. You will come and meet me here. Oh God. Oh. I'm you. sorry, I'm sorry! Oh! I'm so. sorry! God! Sabine, Lou! Donatus, you are finished! Sorry. You are finished! Donatus, you are finished! I'm sorry! Ocon, oh, open sorry. this gate! Ocon! Oh, I'm sorry, please! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Pastor Vishagu! Pastor Vishagu! Olushagu! Olushagu! Where is this useless and God forsaken pastor? Honest and God forsaken Olushagu? Where is you? Olushagu, where are you? Ah, Brother Donatus, is everything alright? You are asking me if everything is alright? Ah, you are asking me. God will punish you and your generation. 
you asking me you have the guts to be sleeping with my wife and you have the guts to ask me ah! if everything will you stop that you bastard will you stop that you bastard stop that hold it there hey 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 you are you 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 you Man, why are you banging my boot? Why? You, you, I will kill you. I will destroy your life. I will tell you the kind of the, 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 the kind of God that you serve today. You will understand me, idiot. presence today and we shall know who deserves forgiveness stay out of my way please, stay out of my way please I beg you help me no. please I beg please. you beg you I beg you he's a man of God please forgive me please please forgive us please <laughs> Died from the sins of their iniquity. My hands are clean. Coffin! Take it yes, away!
Hello, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, yes, I met them dead. Yes, sir. Yes. We need an ambulance immediately. A baby boy. Oh! <laughs> so, baby, thank you, thank you, Lord. Thank you, <laughs> my baby. Thank you, doctor. Thank you very much, Lord. <laughs> oh God, thank you. <sighs> Let me see the mother. No, so, so, sorry. We tried our best, but unfortunately, we lost her. No. Sir. I'm sorry. Doctor, doctor, what do you mean you lost her? Doctor. We're sorry. Lost. No. No! So that I die! Please! We're sorry. Please. We're sorry. Please. Doctor, please. Doctor, you have to do something. Please. You have to save her, doctor. My baby needs his mother. Please. No. We tried. We tried our best. We really tried. Please. Go. God. This is a lie! I know. 